I think for me, what an inquirer is a per- is a person that's curious about not just one topic but multiple, and they're always open to different ideas, opinions, um, points of views, really anything. Yeah, I think to be an inquirer, it's like kind of going um, above and beyond, and like. Uh, really looking deep into like a depth of research and like uh, point of views and thoughts into whatever the statement or the situation is. Mm-hmm. So you kind of, uh, I feel like as an inquirer, you kind of look at the situation from all different points of views and really weigh the outcomes basically. Here at AIS, teachers help us becoming a better thinker by asking us some questions but not giving the full answer that causes us to think for ourselves and then we become a better thinker and can solve problems on our own so i think being open-minded to me means that you're able to share your thoughts freely and um, learning being open to different cultures and i think that AIS has taught me this by like all the teachers being a, they're all from different cultures and that people are sharing different ideas and thoughts and opinions so in AIS we when we work as groups we are always open minded and it's never one person who takes the lead everyone is the leader at some point and we also listen to the ideas this way we're inclusive and it's never one person doing all the work and we also get to know other people's talents and abilities while doing so at AIS, we as students take ownership over our learning by getting a choice into what criteria we're getting assessed on, what summatives we want, and we get a lot of freedom when it comes to events at school. That's why we have the student council, so every student's voice can be expressed equally, and that's how we organize the Halloween party for PYP and MYP, which allowed everybody to get their say, and we had an awesome time. I think um, every student from even first grade and up, they've all gotten a chance to do something great by the, from the school, whether it's academics, maybe like math, like the AMC, or it could be going to student council or mm-hmm. with yeah. the yeah. It could be anything, and the school's done so much that I don't have anything negative to say about it. I'm really grateful. That yeah, we've... and like I agree. Like the school allows you to take. Um, especially a lot of leadership roles um, yeah. that the school has opportunities for, like student council. You can uh, you can try to go for the role of you know like vice uh, vice principal and principal, and it really um, I think it really um, challenges students to kind of you know go for these roles. Yeah, go out of your comfort zone. Go out of your comfort zone in a way, and like go for these roles and um, see what you can accomplish from them, and what you can like, like also what skills you can get from them, like from the ones you already have, but also like what you can you know, accomplish from them. What it means to be a good communicator for me is um, listening to people and also speaking clearly. And, um, yeah. and uh, communicating is also about thinking and uh, respect. It's connected to respect because you need to respect other people when they're communicating to you. And um, about thinking is like, uh, you have to think before you say something. You can't just say something uh, and not, uh, you can't just say something uh, without actually thinking what you're going to say. At AIS, I am learning to become a risk taker. So a risk taker, it's kind of when maybe there's a problem going on. Uh, For example, maybe you're gonna go skydiving. Uh, You kind of don't want to do it, but instead of not doing it, you face the challenge head on. So then you like maybe you go skydiving, you jump off the plane, and you do it. And it's kind of for to gain some kind of achievement, to get a higher potential in a way. So you can be a risk taker at school if you're doing a presentation or you're going to raise up your hand. So you're sharing your ideas with the class, even though you maybe think that you're going to get it wrong. You do it anyway, and you get your feedback from your teacher. The teachers um, are here to help you improve. So for example, if you raised up your hand to share something with the class and you got it wrong, the teachers are here to help you uh, improve and maybe correct you as well. At AIS, the student-teacher relationship works pretty well because uh, the teachers are super friendly, kind, 
and when they're teaching they're super calm not so strict which is great and um they make the lessons so much fun and make an atmosphere in the lessons really fun and like nobody should be scared to ask a question and that's what i like about this student teacher relationship because i can ask the teachers any question without being scared of being judged or anything like that and i appreciate that the teachers um actually can give the answers and try to explain it in a way where i can understand and other students as well at ais i have learned how to be an inquirer i have learned the skills needed for future challenges yes i'm trying my best to learn how to do it Thank you.